Well, good morning, everybody. Take two. I already was eight minutes into uh, last video, but uh, my phone rang. So I uh, hopefully I got rid of that problem. I put it on airplane mode. And we're going to start over again. Okay. Welcome to Coffee Time with Jeffy Bear in the Bear's Den. Yes. I thought about putting that up before, and then somebody, one of my subs, said I should put the, make a sign saying the Bears Den. So, with my my thoughts, your inspiration, there you go. We got a sign now. Coffee time with Jeffy Bear in the Bears Den. Anyways, it's been a great day. I feel much better. Uh, thank you for listening to me spew my crap all over uh, yesterday you know I'm a type of person that like I'll take a lot of stuff for a while and then all of a sudden it's sort of like the cup runneth over <laughs> and I just yeah I, I, I had a weak spot anyways but we're good now and I'm sorry you know I'm not really sorry sorry but I mean you know I apologize I guess for whatever but yeah that's what I do that's what that's who I am I say what's on my mind it's not always the greatest, and it's, uh, sometimes it gets me in trouble, but that's who I am, and I'm not going to change that now. Anyways, now I'm I'm a little bit lost because I've already sort of like said what I wanted to say, and now I forget what I said the first time, so here we go. Uh, uh, yeah, anyways, well, yeah, this channel's a little bit different. Uh, you know, I'm not, in, I'm not into doing van tours and stuff like that, like a lot of people are, and and I'm not into doing every little thing because I'm not that sharp at uh, editing stuff uh, like yet. And, uh, you know, it'd be a lot of film time and it'd probably be twice as much editing time to get up one film or one video. So I don't want to do that. That's like, to me, it's like wasted time. So um, I do do different things. Like, for instance, that sign. That's from a piece of cedar that I had. I cut it down to about 10 or 11 inches. I jigsaw some little things out of it. I went, I was in the dollar store the other day. I found these letters pre-cut out. They're made of wood, it's all made of wood. I glued them together to make them a little bit higher. And then I uh, spray painted them black and uh, shellacked it or put a varnish on it. And glued, them to the, glued them to my wood and there we go. That's how I did it. It would be boring as hell to show you how I did it because, you know, it's really it's pretty basic, uh, you know. So, yeah, that's how I did it. Uh, I also, uh, tonight, I got to go, I got to go wash my vehicle. And, you know, maybe, maybe I'll, I was thinking about that. Maybe while I'm in there, I can shower in a car wash. Would that be cool? I don't know if I could do that. That spray is a little bit, it could probably hurt. But, uh. Yeah, be a super thing to that bidet I talked about the other day. That would be something else. No, anyway, no, that's not good. Okay, so, um, ah, who knows? But I got to wash my car. I got to get it all, you know, and I plan on taking pictures to show you uh, what's been done to it. And uh, a big thumbs up and, you know, a big shout out to my buddy Mark who, uh, who helped me do this. Uh, well, he did basically all the work, actually. Uh, you know, I mean, I did a few things, but not, yeah, nothing to be mentioned about. But he did all the work, and he put a lot more time in it than he probably should have, uh, just because he wanted to do a great job. Now, with everything in life, just because you put time into it doesn't mean it always works out the best way, whatever, you know. Like, my van's old. It's had... Uh, it's had different things done to it. And sometimes like when, I don't know much about the chemical part, but sometimes when you put paint on something else or whatever, it does funny things like uh, orange peeling and different things like that. There's not really a lot of it. I mean, I, you know, I my philosophy in life is, can you see it when you go by at 60? If you can't see it then, then there's nothing to say about it. Like it looks good from far, okay? And it looks a lot better than it did. Some people want me to keep the old stuff, but it looks really, really good. Anybody that's come up to me say, man, this is like a brand new van. So, 
Uh, I am going to, there's a little bit of rust on the top of my, outside of my window up here. I'm going to keep that because that's called patina in the, in the hot rod world or the rat rod world, which I love. Um, I'm going to keep a little bit of patina on my roof and we're going to clear coat that so it'll make it look shiny, but that. So yeah, and uh, I was able to put, uh, I was able to put a roof rack on it. Like with uh, cedar strip boards and you know but you'll see the end result you won't see me working at it but i mean i'll show you how i did it or tell you how i did it and um yeah uh today mark and i are both uh are both going to go out and uh, try to figure out our shower solution i know we can buy uh i know we can buy uh plastic bags and uh, solar shower stuff and we're probably going to do a solar shower just a little bit different because I got the room and so does he of his. He wants something a little bit better than just a plastic bag. Uh, you know, but that is a simple solution. Uh, but yeah, we're going to do that. We're going to go to uh, the redo it store over here. We're going to look for some piping because they had some the other day. And we're going to see if we can... Uh, Gonna see if we can get together and buy enough material for little as money as we could possibly buy or spend and uh, make a little shower thing. And I can strap it to my roof, he can strap it to his because I got the, them, um, those roof racks that I bought were the perfect solution. I can hang stuff off the side of it and everything else. And I also plan on creating an awning. Uh, I seen this a long time ago on YouTube, but a gentleman on YouTube, um, one of my subscribers, he he mentioned that, gave me the links, and I said, oh yeah, I've seen this before, but he mentioned that, you know, and also, he told me that I inspired him to buy the roof racks that I bought, and I got inspired from Dan in, uh, hope I got that right, sorry, in Ontario. He told me about these roof racks because Chrome had a pair, not really cheap, but cheap compared to what Chrome's got now, had a pair, and I thought, and Chrome didn't like those, but they were white. I got the I got the black and gray ones that are powder coated. Anyway, Dan said he, ha he hasn't had a problem and everything's good. So, because he said, okay, like he said, yeah, check these out. And I did, I bought them and somebody else checked out what I bought and they bought them. So there you go, it's all good. Uh, so yeah, so, uh, so I'm about to do that. I mean, there's enough, and if I'm repeating some stuff, I'm sorry, because I'm thinking of the last video I tried to make and uh, it's coming back to me. So I don't know if I already repeated it or not, because I, I mixed it up a little bit as I'm talking now. So he, uh, so I forget to see what I'm saying, but he suggested a few things and I said, okay, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make a, I'm gonna get an awning, you know, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna see, I already got a, I already got a six by eight foot tarp that I bought. It was fairly cheap at Princess Auto, our form of a Harbor Freight for you, for you Americans. We have a Princess Auto, and uh, yeah, and I already got the awning. I just need a couple of pipes, and I want to do it a little bit different. I know I'm always different. I always want to be different I always, because I, I don't want to be like everybody else. So if I can tweak it just a little bit, I do the same things when I use when I carved, and I do the same things when I make stuff. I just want to put a little bit of Jeffy into it, and uh, so I can say you know I came up with. I mean the overall idea is out there, but I came up with this extra idea so yeah and that's what i want to do so uh yeah i think i can do that fairly cheap too uh so that'll be another thing i won't show you from start to finish how i do it i'll probably you know i'll probably maybe start it and then maybe show you the finish thing i mean to me i just find stuff like that really boring um you know and we all you know I, i'm just not into that uh Maybe you are, and if you are, I'm sorry. It's not so much in this channel, but I guess, uh, you know, I'll show you what I've done, though. And, 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 and if you can make it, you can make it, too. And I'll, you know, I'll show you what I've done. I just probably won't film, because it'll take a, 
It'll take half a day for me to film it all, and then I have to edit it all, and that's a lot of time wasted. Uh, like what I'm doing right now is basically I stopped here, had a coffee, and uh, I started the videoing, and boom, I had to redo it. Now I'm redoing it, and uh, yeah. Uh, and then I'm, I'm going to upload it. As soon as I'm finished, this thing's going up. So, and you'll get it as soon as you get it. Uh, and that's that's what I do. I don't want to put a lot of time into this. Uh, I do, but like I'm not going to, the only thing I'm not going to sort of like short out is the honesty part and the real part. Because I don't know how else to be anything else but real or honest. I, I don't. I mean, you know. It's hard for me to even do a little white lie sometimes. I just It just doesn't sit right. So, anyways, I also, I know this is all over the place. I also uh, really appreciate, because I read the comments, like I said, uh, for now. Uh, that only change because they're, they're getting a little longer, some of them. So, I read the comments, and I can't believe how many people I touch. Uh, people tell me all the time, you know. We live, we live your life through uh, our life through your for your adventures and what you talk about and just to have somebody in their home feeling like I'm talking to them or something, I mean that really blows me away. It really does. It really touches me. It's like you know I I spent years and years trying to talk to people, it seemed like not one of them listened. Very few. And uh, now all of a sudden, a lot of people I haven't met are commenting. You know how much I've touched them, affected them, whatever. Keep up the good work. I mean, I, I, I just like I really I'm having a hard time taking it all in. Uh, but I appreciate every single one. I even appreciate the negative ones, and that's fine. I'm getting over that. You know, I mean, and I'm learning. You know, you're teaching me. When I hear something negative, you're teaching me, Jeffy. Keep your mouth shut. It's all right. That's their opinion. They're allowed it. And that's helping me. I, and that's the thing about van life. Van life is just not like van life, man. If you're really into van life, you're into, you're into tuning your house and your vehicle, but you're into tuning yourself. And I know a lot of people out there are jealous of people like us that are able to do this because they're sick and tired of their lives. And I understand it. I used to be one of them. Sick and tired. I said, I just want to get the hell out of here. And now I got the opportunity to get the hell out. And I am. And I ain't going back. So, you know, to do what we can do. I love this life. I love the people I meet. I'm closer to most, I'm closer to people now than I've been for years and years and years. And I've known them less than years. Chrome, three, four years I've known them. Joseph, maybe a little over a year, I think, if I'm right. Uh, Emmy, not that long. Maybe, well, I've probably seen her for about four months, five months. Uh, like, just seen her van and stuff, but I really only got to know her about maybe two months ago. I'm not good with time. And Mark, it's like a month. And I, mean, I got friends like Bobby and stuff, same, same amount of time. Uh, but, yeah, these guys are really close to me. I mean, to me, they are. I mean, we're all, we're all trying to do the same thing. We're all uh, doing what we can do, and yeah, we all get along, and we all and we all go. There's no okay. See you later. I know I made a thing one day about, you know, we get together, and then in the morning everybody's gone. Nobody says goodbye or whatever. But I mean, that was a different scenario. But uh, yeah, like you know, I'm sad to see them go, but I mean, I know we'll meet up again somewhere. And, uh, and that's the whole point of this thing. It's great. We can do what we want to do. We're not hurting anybody. Come and go as we please. And uh, sometimes we hang out a lot. And sometimes not so a lot. But anyways, I think it's starting to get a little bit longer now. Than, uh, I mean, I've done this twice. <laughs> However, okay. On that note, I'm feeling much better, so... Uh, and I hope it sort of like makes sense what I've said because, like I said, I'm a little bit confused when I already was eight or nine minutes into one and then I got cut off, the phone rang, and now I'm into 
14 minutes of this, so I hope it's all right. I hope it's fine. Okay, on that note, I love you all. And uh, be kind to yourself and be kind to others. And, you know, just try to live your life the best you can. And uh, if you're going to spend time in your van, you know, as well as looking at the van and what you can upgrade, take a look at yourself and what you can upgrade. I mean, I feel much better. And I, and I do. I, and I'm not, not just talking about the, the other day being sick. I just feel much better about myself. Uh, some people notice that I'm more healthier looking. Or I'm smiling a little bit more. Obviously, I'm a little bit more confident on the camera. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, overall, I love this lifestyle. I wouldn't give it up. The only thing that saddens me is, like I said, but I know that's the world. We can't do nothing about it. it saddens me. I have to take a little bit more time before I, I head down to uh, head down to Ontario to see my grandkids. Uh, I, I, I wanted it to be a slow roll through the provinces. Might not be that slow. I might have to sort of like get my butt down there quick in case something else changes. Uh, but, you know, and and if I can't stop and see people along the way this time, I will, I'll make, I'll make, I'll, maybe I'll make a trip to different parts of the country where I'll say, okay, maybe this week or this month I'll go to Winnipeg or do, do Ontario, uh, you know, there's a few people in Ontario I'd like to meet. I mean, I, I talked to them, I, I, I did one chat with uh, Graham, and, uh, and then there's Dan, the guy that did the roof rack thing, uh, or Mike, yeah, Mike, Mike Brown, that's it, sorry, I apologize, I don't mean to forget your names. Uh, but yeah, there's a lot of things going on. So I like to meet people there. There's people there that I just like, I just, I, I need to get to know Ontario a little bit more now because if that's going to be my neck of the woods, uh, yeah, I, I want to know a bit of it and I like to explore some spots and, uh, yeah, so I will stop in and there's, uh, people, uh, just outside of Winnipeg or in Winnipeg I've met. All I can remember, I have a hard time with names, but I remember their van, the man cave, he's got a channel. He's just off the highway, he told me, so I wanna stop in and see him and see him and his wife. And uh, yeah, before I sort of like leave this area, there's a few other people that have mentioned along the way here. Uh, so yeah, if I can do that, I'm gonna do that. And if I can't, well, maybe someday, God willing, I'll uh, be able to come back this way somewhat and uh yeah because i just want to explore i just want to see things you know and hopefully uh i'll spend more time with, like i want to spend time with all my grandkids but uh i know one wants to spend time with me and go go tripping tripping around in my van so yeah i'm gonna try that anyways on that note i love you all take care of yourself be kind to yourself and others and uh you know safe travels and whatever you're doing and please be safe and you know keep up the good work and don't forget to love yourself ciao have a good day bye bye